content arrives faster with your support on Patreon. Donate today and receive awesome rewards. Thank you. Is Whataburger a real thing? If you're interested in funny parodies, then you would be better off somewhere else. In this parody, not only are there no funny jokes, there are no amusing memes, silly screamies, and very few witty gags in the middle. This parody does not like to tell the truth, nor does it lie. My name's Taiju. It is my solemn duty to carry the show, for however brief my time on it is. Since I'm such a nice guy, why don't we compromise? Let's restore only the young, best and brightest! Build a beautiful utopia that coexists with nature! You need only hand me that Miracle Mountain Dew and- Like I'd be stupid enough to- Alright! We got a full pot of dying Mountain Dew from the Secret <sighs> Cave! You know, the Secret Cave contains the very specific ingredients found nowhere else in the world to restore civilization. Cave just north of here that even an idiot like myself could find. I managed to reduce the sugar content without compromising that crisp mountain flavor. We're gonna make a fortune. Thank you, Taiju! This is cause for celebration! How about you two head back to camp and I'll gather supplies for a... party. You're mad, aren't you? Whatever are you talking about, friend? It's been a whole minute since you've insulted me. You're prepping for the big one. And why would I do that? You only prep for the big one when I really screw up. Glad to know you're aware. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, Taiju. I'm terrified for my soft shitty life because Tsukasa no longer has any use for me. If looks could kill, sure, but Tsukasa's no murderer. He's a good guy. You're right, Taiju. And I'm the bad guy. Guess what good guys do to the bad guy? You're not the bad guy, Senku. You're trying to restore civilization. Yes, and that means restoring all the wonderful ancillaries that come with it. Like war, corruption, pollution, reality television. And I'm your accomplice. Gosh, Mother's gonna be so coarse with me when she finds out. Not anymore, you're not. But before I leave, I have something to tell you. Here it comes. I don't like your rendition of Diet Mountain Dew. <gasps> Your heart was in the right place reducing the sugar content. Eh? But the only miracle here is how you managed to make bat piss ah. taste like stale snake tongues. Ooh. Ergo, ah. worse than it already is. <sighs> Goodbye, Taiju. I might not be smart enough to debate the merits of virtue, but I am dumb enough to know true friends are honest with each other. Like, I honestly feel your insults, in spite of your brilliant mind, compensate for a weak spirit. You can't leave me, Senku, because you skipped emotional leg day. And I'm the only man who can carry you. <laughs> well, I didn't feel like walking anyway. Uh, Telly ho, pack mule. Yay! Ooh, got, that's got a zing to it. Interesting texture too. Hypnotic aroma. And reduced sugar content without compromising that crisp mountain flavor. Too bad it still tastes like stale snake tongue stirred around a pig soiled gym sock. <gasps> There's no way I can tell poor sweet Taiju that! Well, what Taiju doesn't know, which is many things, won't hurt him. You like my Diet Mountain Dew, don't you, user? <laughs> Didn't I tell you to hurry? <gasps> How's she supposed to detect the crisp mountain flavor if you dump it on her all at once? It's like ripping off a band aid! <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting thousands of years to tell you something, Yuzu. Yes, Senku? Did you detect the crisp mountain flavor? Of what? Oh, Taiju. Uh, yeah, whatever you did, I'm sure it was great. Yes! Another happy customer! True friends indeed. Now listen up! Our only options are to run or- Yo, I heard how he murdered Circle of Life. Let's kick his butt! Yeah! Is Gus really out there murdering people, I'll- Murder is a matter of perspective, is it not? I could just as easily say you all murdered the sundress. He's right! We've committed a crime of fashion. Then it appears we're all in the same boat. Promise to stop murdering people and we won't tell on you if you don't tell on us.
Is... Is she dumber than he is? Perfect couple, aren't they? I can't help but sense you have a type, Senku. Dumb is a matter of perspective, isn't it? You were dumb enough to give us the time to commence Operation Super Secret Attack! Get him, Taiju! I don't know what she's talking about, but... He punched a lion to death, you morons! That didn't shatter your hand? I didn't skip physical arm day. Yet you refused to hit back. Why? And ruin that beautiful face. Damn it, I have a type two. Then it's agreed. We're all gonna stop murdering and being nice. You propose I stop murdering Senku's audience simply because you're so precious? Oh yeah, listen to those glowing reviews. I'm going to need more leverage than that, Taiju. Oh, I know why you can't hurt us. It's so simple. I did read your words and action like a picture book, after all. This'll be good. Your soldier-like discipline is only rivaled by your love of anti-establishment and nature. Some would call that a paradox, but I'd rather call you brother. You are a fellow woodland scout, after all. How did you know? Call it scout's intuition. Now, say the oath with me, brother! A, a woodland, woodland scout, scout is brave. brave. Bold, kind, courteous, congruent, isosceles, 30, flirting, and thriving. 5924725119431943. Don't mind those numbers unless your name is Kyle. Kyle, are you listening to this? Yes, you, Kyle! Recite those numbers at the Whataburger located on North Haskell Avenue. The cashier will hand you the real Declaration of Independence. Behind it is a map to Cortez's treasure. Yes, Kyle, we found it. Kyle, you don't remember, do you? Oh god, they wiped your memory, haven't they? And they're going to wipe mine next! A woodland scout also knows how to party. Woo! Gosh, sure hope Kyle's okay. Me too. Now f me, you biracial angel. The bi and biracial, like the bi and bisexual in Zukasa's case, means to be comprised of two different groups. An individual comprised of two groups may have different characteristics from each, such as physical traits, cultural knowledge, or a set of privileges. For example, the audience has the privilege of being invited to listen to the subtext a storyteller writes. However, if they rush to speak or perhaps comment on the superficial layer of the writer's dialogue before the punchline arrives, they have failed to take advantage of their privilege, therefore feed the, the storyteller's privilege, privilege of, of baiting his audience into becoming a bi form that shares the characteristics of both the recipient and butt of a joke. This is not a funny joke. It's a smart one, at your expense. You were warned. You're a beautiful man inside and out, Tsukasa. But I'm afraid that although I'm a byproduct of two different teams, I swing for only one. But if you promise not to hurt Senku, I'll give you a hug. Fine. Oh gosh, what a relief! Collectively, you are the nothing that can help nor stop me. So it would be utterly excessive to kill you. However, if I catch so much as a whiff of an attempt to restore that old, filthy civilization, you and the rest of this stone world Crumbles. What are we gonna do now, Senku? We keep restoring civilization, duh! From a safe distance. Blockhead! <gasps> Way ahead of you, Senku! Yuzu, commence Operation Super Sniper Road Trip Theme! I don't know what you're talking about, but- <laughs> No, 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 you harmonize with me! <laughs> <laughs> I got Yuzu in the back, why privilege attached? Senku always mad cause his audience on attack People will store, nice. warnings will ignore huh. Packing up a valley just to start another world war Can't nobody tell me nothing You can't tell me nothing Think before you comment something Spend a lot of money by my esoteric templar Shingen's got a habit, gold traditions, tall pagodas All of that eroded, Rupert Kipling's riding hot bars Got no stress weaving geodries Until I'm straight out of copper I got no fears, wish I could roll on back to that stone cold road I wanna learn till I can no more Singer-songwriter as well And mother said the perfect man doesn't exist 
gonna take my friends down the Stone Cold Road. I'm gonna learn till I can't no more. How about saving some oxygen for your brain, you blowhard? Well, I don't want there to be any awkward silence. Sometimes, Taiju, there is silence during adult interaction, and that's okay. The most profound conversations can be had in complete silence. But how can people say they love each other without saying a word? With consideration for the constitution of each other's eardrums. So the brief millisecond pauses during those marathon monologues is your way of saying you care. Oh, Senko, I'm touched. I love you too, Senko. Darn it! This nonverbal thing is hard. Having any better luck, Yuzu? In ancient Greek philosophy, there are several distinct words for love, each with their own meaning such as storage, philia, eros, and agape. However, the ancient Greeks never met Senku and I, so it was impossible for them to invent a word to describe ours before we saw each other for the last time. Alright, you two can practice your duck faces later. We're wasting daylight! For what? The song and the ham-fisted soliloquy didn't explain anything! Tsukasa said we can't stop him. So, we'll reinvent something that can. Everyone's favorite back-to-school accessory! You got me, officer! <laughs> Taiju here! Videos like these arrive first on Patreon. If you want to hear my strong but gentle dulcet tones for anyone else, you know where to find me. And why not do a fellow Woodland Scout proud by subscribing and ringing that bell button to stay informed and entertained. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Kyle!